All right, today we're taking a look at the G36C Scout variant in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And today I'm doing a mission where I need to destroy eight Bodark vehicles. And this is part of the destabilization effort in Operation Motherland, all right? So we got eight vehicles we need to destroy. It's gonna be a mix of boats and helos. And uh, we are just gonna clear this bunker first. I got my MK23 pistol here silenced as my secondary. Don't, don't think I'll be using it much, but just kind of wanted to showcase it real quick there at the start. Um, but for the most part, guys, we're going to be using this DMR here, all right? And some takedowns. I'll probably throw in a few knife takedowns as well, but we do have uh, one target here, and he's kind of making his way down this little thing here. So as soon as he stops or passes that, I'm going to drop a headshot, all right? Perfect, man. That's a nice clean shot there. And this DMR is not too bad, all right? I gotta say, right out of the gate here, before we do delve into things, um, I gotta say, man, the uh, the G36C Scout version is uh, much better than the standard G36C. And uh, as you guys suggested that they did name the G36C wrong, um, it, didn't, is it, in, uh, it is in fact a G36K, and I haven't really acknowledged that, but I'll acknowledge it here um, for all you guys who are weapon heads out there and uh, who noticed that. Um, but yeah, that's just typical Ubisoft, just naming things wrong, doing things wrong. It is how it is, man. You guys know how it is, all right? But uh, we do have one boat parked at the edge of the dock here, and uh, I am going to take it out, all right? Well, I'm not going to take it out, but I am going to arm it to uh, explode, and uh, that is what we will be doing throughout the course of this uh, session here, all right? We're going to be uh, tagging each vehicle with a nice uh, explosive, and then uh, by the end of the video, by the end of the session, we will uh, detonate them if all goes according to plan, all right? And the plan here specifically is to remain stealth, all right? I got one target here standing. I'm going to clear him out. Perfect, man. Perfect, that second burst got him. So guys, what you're gonna do here is for any helmeted enemies, as I've stated uh, plenty of times in the past, you wanna switch to that uh, that tri-burst, all right? Because those three bullets will fling into the head on impact and take down that target, all right? So you don't need to worry about doing any follow-up shots. Um, so do stick to that triple burst and we just tagged the second boat, perfect, man. And uh, just snagged a little ammo there. Just gonna deactivate this thing here. trying to listen in. Yeah, we definitely have targets walking this way, all right? So what I'm gonna do is circle around back and uh, I think I have an idea, all right? So just uh, hang in there. As soon as they fucking pass, man. Watch. Huh? Nice, nice and clean. All right, four targets eliminated. That was perfect. And I do see one seeker, so I'm gonna head over there and take him down. Just gonna wait for him to pass that box. Oh, a little miss, but we got him. I'm gonna go actually disable that turret as well before I do mark that helo, all right? Um, so yeah, that's one of the objectives there. I think I hear a target though, so I'm gonna switch to that other uh, red dot, and that's why I like this dual range sight on my DMRs. Um, and just like that, as I suggested earlier, you switch to that triple burst fire, and it's a one-shot head, all right? And you're always gonna wanna do that with any gun that has a triple burst, all right? Let's tag this helo. Perfect, man. All right, so we do have that heavy and we have to go find him. Um, it's already starting to get dark, man. We're not gonna find a damn thing out here. 
but the heavy should be around. He should be walking around. I hear his voice. Because he has his back to us, but I think I can get a sliver of his head. Like in the past, I always kind of go for that little piece of head that appears above the backpack. Gonna just switch scopes here. Yeah, you see that little kind of piece there? Uh, it didn't work out, but there we go. We uh, followed it up. All right, perfect. He's done. And uh, I believe that's all the targets here on this ground level. I am going to quickly go to this bunker and just double check it to make sure there's no one in there. But I don't hear anyone, all right? Yeah, and up here is good too, all right? Perfect, man. Just looking for like a ladder, man. Actually, you know what? Yeah, so right around this bend here, um, there's a little switch here, but hopping over there. So if we walk up this path, we could probably climb up and get to those uh, upper uh, catwalks you see there. Um, so that's my plan. I think there's steps. I don't know, man, but we're gonna make our way up there. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, for all you guys who were uh, complaining that Breakpoint is uh, not dark enough, well, this video should uh, should definitely uh, convince you otherwise, alright? Man, we got the uh, we got that ladder coming up. All right. But yeah, man, as you guys can see, look at how fucking dark it is up here, man. Now that the sun went down, 
For all you guys who don't think Breakpoint's dark, I think it's pretty damn dark, man, especially when you have that darkest night setting turned on, all right? So uh, this is both a spotlight for the G36C Scout variant, but it's also a spotlight, I guess, on the darkness of Breakpoint and how you can really be immersed in playing this way, all right, guys? And uh, this is what I love about uh, the stealth kind of... Uh, um, playthrough is in play sessions is because they're really fun man this brings me back to my splinter cell days buddy when you're in the dark like this man when it's real dark yeah man this reminds me of splinter cell i was just playing pandora tomorrow uh prior to actually recording this so i was kind of in the stealth mood man and that's probably what brought me here all right um I, I definitely would blame splinter cell for making me want to do this so we are staying in the shadows and we aren't going to be using nvgs all that much but i will definitely be starting to use them soon all right but while we are advancing and trying to trying to stay low here um like a, a low, low profile without getting spotted we're going to just remain in the shadows and uh, we're just going to kind of soak in the game for what it looks like man because the game looks great in the night and now let's take this guy down all right Perfect, man. Perfect. Right on the tail of that. Right on the ass of that helicopter. Probably just pop one more on the nose. Perfect. All right, man. We got one more helo all the way up there. And I got to find a way to get up there, man. There, now it's marked. And uh, it, it is kind of late right now, and that's probably why I'm talking so low here today, all right? <laughs> well, it's not probably. It, it is why I'm talking so low, if you're wondering. But I hear a guy. I hear a heavy. And I'm just trying to find him, all right? Also, I think talking low in, like, in a stealth video kind of works, you know what I mean? But anyways, let's push up, all right? We gotta try to tag all these vehicles again while remaining stealth, okay? And I'm definitely gonna be leaning in on that CQC knife combat when necessary. Um, I know this is a G36C spotlight, um, sorry, scout spotlight, but again, it's also a spotlight of stealth and just how this game can be played in other ways, all right? And I know a lot of you guys are stealth fans, uh, so that's what the theme is here again today, all right? And because, well, this mission does require it, uh, I did fail prior to doing this playthrough, and uh, I failed because the guy hopped in a vehicle once I did get spotted, and they drove away with it. And the enemy will run away with, with the vehicles if you aren't stealth, so that's why we're doing this here today, alright? And uh, I just really wanted to whip out this outfit, man. I just love the ghillie wrap on the head, it just looks so badass. You look like a boogeyman, especially in the nighttime. All right, it's looking clear in this room, but... All right, you know what, man? No, I'm not gonna go this way because it's like, it's too bright and I wanna remain in the shadows, as I said, so let's wrap around this way. What is that? Oh, okay, yeah. All right, anti-air uh, system there. And uh, let's go there and disable it. Um, no one in there. Oh, I th yeah, one target here. I'll, uh, just hit him with a couple headshots, I guess. I know I could've went tri-burst, but fuck it, dude, whatever, man. Let's disable this. Alright, looking clear here. I'm gonna keep moving up here. Nice and clear, let's move into the next room now. Perfect, man.
I really do need to get to that helo up there. I gotta find a way in, and we will. We'll find a way. Um, yeah, I see one sniper up there. I'm gonna take him down with a nice clean shot there. Oh, a little sloppy. I fucking missed, of course, but ah, there we go. <laughs> I got a little spooked, man. I thought he would spot me. Um, but yeah, he's done, man. I got a little, uh, little sloppy there on my shot, but it is what it is, all right? I'm, a kind, of on my, I'm kind of on edge right now, guys, to be honest. I've made it this far, and I really don't want to get spotted. Um, I really want this to be clean, all right? And uh, it's really taken my, like, all my concentration. Um, but I'm just trying to see if there's a way we can get down here. Maybe I can cut the fence and hop down. Like, I think that's a short enough drop, so let me try that. And then we can go up the stairs. Um, but you know what, man? It's not letting me do it. Because I think of that, that bar, that strip you see there. So if your fence has that, you can't cut it. Um, and that's alright, we'll find another way, alright? We'll probably end up going down around, but... Again, you know what? The, the priority right now is to clear targets and, and all hostiles. And I do hear one. Yeah, there he is. A nice heavy. That's the one we were looking for earlier. Jesus, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm getting a little sloppy here now. Um, again, it's because I'm a little on edge, alright? I'm kind of freaked out. Uh, this is tough, man. This is a hard one. And I see light, and I believe there's a target behind this little thing here, so I'm gonna wrap around. You know, I could be yeah, there he is. Quick headshot. Perfect. Alright man, so I don't see any targets, um, yeah I don't see any targets over here, I'm just kind of seeing that area because that's the area where we'll need to go when we do try to get up these, uh, these kind of round pillars, uh, I don't know what those things are, I guess they're silos of some sort, um, oh yeah, there's a ladder here. This is actually a ladder that we could have taken earlier, but you know what? I'm not going to go down now because I don't need to be here just yet. Um, I do hear voices, and that's who I want to focus on, like I said. And, uh, yeah, right here, man. All right, well, another helo I just marked. Perfect. And uh, we still got some C4 charges left, so we will be good to take down all vehicles here. Um, yeah, there's definitely targets down this way, all right? I love playing in the night, man. It's always a good time. All right, I see two targets here. I believe one's a drone operator. Um, oh, you know what? They're they're both drone operators, so we definitely need to take those guys down. And I got one target moving his way here. I don't want to be spotted, so I'm going to wrap around, and we will take them down, okay? Um, so let's keep pushing back here. Yeah, I'm seeing lights. Yeah, we got targets. Sentinel, this light's kind of getting in my way. This IR light, so I'll turn it off. Um, two, two targets. Uh, th three targets, actually. And, and uh, looks like they're kind of just patrolling this little warehouse here. So I'm just going to hang back for a little bit. Kind of scope it out a little. All right, you know what? There is a target right there, and I think he's coming this way, so I'm gonna kind of hide here. And uh, I think we could probably knife him. Those guys got their backs towards us. Oh yeah, perfect, man, there he is. Good night, buddy. Sleep tight, bud. You fucker. Who else, buddy, who else? Yeah, these guys are still patrolling, man. Well, we're gonna deal with them very shortly, all right? Let's keep pushing up up there that way. Um, and I do see one more. Oh, yeah, there's one more there. And another. All right. Yeah, this is a hot zone, man. We're kind of in a tricky spot. I'm gonna quickly drop this guy, and then I'm gonna start working on the rest, all right? Perfect. And uh, do I want to take the shot? No, I can't. I can't hit these guys yet. Um, yeah, let's wrap out. Let's wrap out this way and uh, clear out those targets we saw walking this way. One here to the left. 
clean. Where's the other guy? It was two, wasn't there? Maybe I thought that turret was a was a was a target earlier. Um. Yeah, there he is. Perfect. One more. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Please don't spot me. It's one of those fucking drone dudes. Yeah, you're done, buddy. Sit down. One more back here. Clean headshot there. Perfect. All right, we got an anti-air system, as I said earlier, um, and we will disable it. Fuck. One target opening up here. Let's cl let's take him down wherever he is. Oh yeah, there he is. Good night, buddy. Couple body shots there. Perfect, man. Let's take down this uh, system here. One more target. Boat arc. Done. So far, so good, man. The boogeyman is doing his doing good work here today. Because my guy looks like a fucking boogeyman. And uh, for all you guys who made it this far, if you have the patience for a video like this, then I really do hope that you are enjoying it, all right? And uh, let me know what DMR is your go-to. The, the, the G36C Scout isn't my go-to DMR by any stretch, but it is something I wanted to whip out because I did do a spotlight on the G36C. Um, and I figured, well, I, I should take out the Scout version. I did talk about how it's much better for range. And I, do, I just like the Scout uh, version much better than the G33C. Um, uh, the G36C, but let's take this guy down here. What? Ooh. Uh, a little miss there, but perfect, man. Got him. All right. Let's disable this, too. We don't want any of these uh, auto guns or kind of auto mortars or anything like that opening up on me when I do explode these vehicles. So once we have them all tagged and all targets are taken care of, then uh, we don't need to worry about any of them running away with any of the vehicles, all right? Um... But again, when I do blow them up, those turrets, they might open up on me, all right? And I don't want to deal with any of that. So that's why we're, we're making sure they're all clear. And I do see one more here. And that one looks to be like a mortar one. Uh, they, they fire at a distance at you. And you oftentimes don't even see them where they are. So this one's a very important one to take out, all right? Um, so let's do that. And uh, we're, uh, we're nearing the end, all right? We're almost there. I just want to drone it shortly and look for any other targets that we may have missed. Um, so I'm going to do that very soon. Just want to make sure this area is clear. Alright, let's do it, man. So far looking good. No one's on these silos, no one's down there. This is the whole area that we worked through at the start and now we're all the way up here and uh, we've came this way, but looks like one rifleman is still around, but I don't think he will be a problem. He's kind of far away from any of the vehicles that we do need to take out. So if I get to him, I get to him. If I don't, it is what it is. He'll be all right. Um, you don't always necessarily need to kill everyone in a stealth ops. I could have very well um, just checking the kind of the uh the area around i don't know if maybe there's like a sniper up there or anything but yeah like i said guys you don't always need to uh to kill everyone if you're doing a stealth mission i could have very well did this where i didn't shoot a single fucking bullet i'm just gonna drone it one more time here uh where i didn't need to shoot a single fucking bullet and i could have uh i could have fucking tagged these vehicles and took them all out without even being without even being here technically all right and if i did that i probably would have went sam fisher route just just to role play as him because uh, really excited for the future of the Splinter Cell series now. Really looking forward to that Splinter Cell 1 remake. And uh, but yeah, man, that's just another uh, idea for you guys to try out. Say you're on this mission, try doing it with Sam Fisher. Try doing uh, stealth only, no guns, no killing, just tagging vehicles. And uh, I definitely hear one target behind here. And uh, yeah, it's a seeker. We're going to just knife him. Perfect, man. All right, so we got one target upstairs. I see his flashlight going to go wrap up and... Uh, Probably gonna knife him too. Visibility's like two feet out here. Oh, that was fucking brutal, man. That guy got knifed hard, man. Like multiple knives, dude. 
That was like a few different sets of stabs there. Anyway, let's keep moving and uh, we'll just pretend we never did anything that brutal, all right? <laughs> um, we're, we're near the end here, all right? Just see if I can hop over here, but I can't. Um, but that's all right, we can actually hop on this and then we can quickly just rip our parachute out and uh, land safely below. Just like that. <laughs> All right, so now that we've made it here, uh, we finally can make our way up this uh, silo here and then use those catwalks to run across and tag that final helo. That was a little bit tricky to get to, all right? But again, like I said earlier, guys, we would get there, all right? Um, so I'm just gonna kind of run over there now uh, just because I don't want to eat up too much of your guys' time anymore. <laughs> But yeah, that's the final vehicle, and then once we tag this helo, I'm gonna get out of the zone. Not all the way out of the zone, just gonna get to a different uh, part of this map here, of this area. And then I'll blow it. Um, and then hopefully all goes according to plan, and all eight vehicles explode at once, and that will be mission success right there, alright? And I'm just gonna tag it another time, just to be safe. And uh, we got a ladder here, which is just ripe for use, so I'm gonna use that to get down. And uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to wrap up, get to a safe po uh, spot. I'm actually going to probably go near the other helo here on the ground level and uh, and uh, explode it from there, all right? And then we could watch the fireworks. And then I think we could uh, end up just uh, evacing through the water, all right? Just as we kind of came in. We came in from the kind of swampy uh, parts of the water where the water met the land, but here we can kind of swim out and evac. And it'll be nice and clean and uh, nice and quiet, all right? And this has just been going exceptionally. Uh, I'm really happy with how this uh, session's been going. So yeah, let's uh, let's park ourselves by this helo here. I am gonna tag it as well, just in case I missed it, which I didn't actually, I see a C4 there, but I'm gonna hit one in the front because I didn't put a second one earlier and uh, we should be good. And um, yeah, man, we should be good here. But uh, let's move back a little bit. Um, did I disable that over here? I don't remember, did I? I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but let's just double check that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it. Wait, did the button not work? One sec. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, what the fuck am I doing, man? I already did this one. Sorry, guys. I, there's just so much going on here. I, I lost track. But uh, all right, let's blow them. Fuck it, man. Perfect. And now we got to blow the other set here. Perfect, man. Ah, oh, crap. Wait, did I miss... Yeah, I might have missed them. Let's just confirm these uh, C4s are not failing to go off. Yeah, I definitely missed it. But you know what? We're going to hop off here, and we're going to quickly uh, go and destroy them. And you know what? That one single rifleman that's all the way back there. Ooh, nice explosions. Uh, yeah, that one single rifleman that was back there is nowhere near these boats down here, so I do not need to worry about these boats being uh, taken and then driven off or driven off, sorry. Um, so we are good, guys. And this was just a solid, excellent stealth run. We really got to use that G36C scout version in some nice ranged encounters as well, especially at the start, guys. And uh, we definitely got to lean in on some CQC knife takedowns and really remain in the shadows, all right? And really showcase this game in the darkest night setting, all right? And uh, let's have a look at this little explosion. Nice, man, look at that. All right, so the mission was called Nailed to the Ground, all right? Perfect, man. And uh, that's a nice clean session here with that G36C scout. And uh, we really did again lean in on that stealth and it was a nice clean run, all right? And now, like I said, guys, I'm gonna escape in the water and I'm gonna swim on out of here, okay? And uh, for all you guys who stuck to the end, really do uh, thank you guys for being here, all right? And I hope you did enjoy the video. And uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and take it easy.